I just got back from working and I thought I would do that video that I said I would do comparing the Field Piece 680, SC680 and the Field Piece SC480 clamp meters. So here we go. <laughs> It is mid-January. Our weather has been rapidly changing in the last 24 hours. Today's video, I'm gonna go over the SC480 and the SC680 by Field Piece. I have used them both quite extensively now, and I figured I would go over the benefits of this one and the benefits of this one. Basically, the benefits of this one over this are its size. Its size is the normal reason most people carry this if they're not carrying the 680. The 680 is like 12 inches tall. Y'all see that? It's like 12 inches tall. And this one's more like 10 which makes it easier to carry in your bag. It makes it just a little bit more convenient. And some bags, like mine, can handle the 680 size. Other people, just that's just too big. So that's the number one reason for using this meter. This one happens to have several features that this one does not that I particularly like. First is sometimes you wanna hang your meter. You can twist this and still see your display. They both have Bluetooth, which means you could hang this meter and pull, up, pull it up on your phone and still see it on your phone. But that's just an extra step that you have to go through. And I like the convenience of being able to do that. So they both have Bluetooth, which means you can check like the motor amperage on a, on a blower motor with the panels on and read it on your phone. That's also very nice. They both have this little test lead holder right here. And these are not field piece test leads. It's a fluke twist guard, I think it is. And I'll try to leave a link to all these things in the description but that allows you to like check a thermostat hold one wire in your meter at the same time and check not only does this have the twisting capability that i like but on this one they both have inrush hold on a second they both have inrush but i have found that on this one the amperage capability on inrush is not high enough for me to check inrush on any of the compressors I have checked so far. I cannot read inrush with this. But on this one, you have a higher amperage and voltage setting right here that allows you to check higher amperage. And I can check inrush with this one. And that is something that I frequently use. Both of these have, you can check amps and volts at the same time, and you can read hertz through the amp clamp. That is a capability on both of these. And this is actually my second 680. On the first one, I was able to read hertz as low as three and a half amps. This one also has bolts and amps DC. This one only has micro amps DC. And that, that's a diff, that makes a difference when it comes to mini splits. There's, there's also a phase rotation capability right here. They both have that. And that's good for checking rotation on a uh, three-phase compressor 
and there's one there's one other thing that I happen to like about these that I'm gonna try to show you this has two magnets on the back which gives it a really strong hold Ooh, this one only has one magnet and it's mounted really low so that happens in fact let's try it at a more reasonable angle yeah so it does not have as good of a hold and this one i can probably hang it upside down and i happen to like that the magnets work a lot better on this one i think they had they probably had room to put another magnet here but they didn't they both have the the lights on the jaws they both seem to be very accurate but i think the number one reason to put this one in your bag is the size i do like the features and the capabilities of this one and i like having that in my bag with me when i'm troubleshooting especially if i walk up on a mini split or if i need to check inrush amps with this one the inrush amps so far i have found to be virtually useless because it just can't read them i have decided to carry this one in my bag because i like the features oh and i wanted to mention the temperature readings on this you have dual temperature when this one only has one and if i'm not mistaken you can open up the back and calibrate the temperature readings on your k-type temperature probes all right before i put all these up i think I failed to mention the watts capability on both of these meters. Reading volts and amps at the same time through the leads and the amp clamp allows you to read watts. And because it reads hertz through the amp clamp and then hertz through the test leads, that allows it to compare phase angle, although you can't see it in a graph, it'll read power factor for you and such things as real power and volts amps and compare the two, which is a very nice feature in a meter like this. And both the 480 and the 680 have that watts capability. I carry the Vito Tech MCT and I wanted to show you that that meter uh, does easily fit in there without binding my zipper all right so that's it yes the se680 is quite large but the features it has and capabilities mean that i'm probably going to use that one instead of the sc480 the watts capability and power factor that are on both of them are really nice to have they're both good meters for technicians but like I said, I'm probably going to use the SC680 because of the features and capabilities, the magnets, the swivel head. All those things make it a better meter for me. I just wish it were a little bit smaller. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.